The hardest thing for me to do as a parent is not feed my kids. It's not educate my kids. It's not go on vacations with my kids. That's the easy part. One of the hardest things for me to do as a parent running the household is discipline my kids. Because kids are kids. They make mistakes. So do adults. But let's talk about kids. So if my daughter does something and I don't approve of it and I have to punish her, I'm thinking about this. Okay, she's pretty hard on herself, so I don't want to overpunish her. How's this going to look for my son? Because he's likely to make way worse mistakes than my daughter. And then my kids ask me, Dad, did you ever do this? Yeah, I did. Did your parents punish you? No, not really. How does it land? And the truth is, until you have kids, there's no rule book. Uh, Mark Stevens is an investor owner for the Golden State Warriors, put his hand in a player, uh, according to multiple reports, yelled bad stuff at Lowry of the Raptors, too. I don't have, don't have audio tape of that, but that's one of the claims. I said yesterday <clears throat> I, would, uh, I would get him out of the ownership circle. Um, and then f- for one of the rare times, I went home and actually watched my rant on that. I usually don't do that. I don't like to watch my work, never have, whatever. And I thought to myself, you know, it's so easy for me to say that, but I'm not a commissioner. Ask Roger Goodell the hardest thing he's dealt with. It's not going to networks and asking for billions. They all line up. That's easy. It's not glad handing craft. No, where is Roger Goodell struggled? Punishment, deflate gate, domestic violence. That's where Goodell is uneven. People feel misguided. Adam Silver yesterday got a lot of heat for this. Because Adam Silver didn't kick him out of the ownership group. And I think Adam Silver's as smart, as progressive, as forward-thinking as everybody, and has also been a great pro-player commissioner. So Adam Silver did what I proposed, swift, intense punishment. Not as far as I would have gone, but you know what I think with Adam Silver? I think like a parent, he had a lot of stuff to think about. How does it land with other owners? How will it land in eight years? We did that thing to the fan in Utah, but this is an owner who I'm not saying no to. I would be ejecting from an ownership club that's the most noteworthy in the league currently. Adam Silver talked about his decision, and I've watched Goodell, who I think is a great commissioner, struggle with punishment, and I watched Adam Silver yesterday, and I could sense how uncomfortable he was. And not only is punishment hard, it's gotten way more difficult with social media. I mean, yesterday, I led my show with it. It's one of the most downloaded things I've ever done. Within an hour, everybody had an opinion. Some are qualified opinions. Some are connected opinions. Some are just opinions. Social media has made being a commissioner and dealing with punishment exceptionally hard. Here comes the avalanche, but a commissioner... I was very emotional on the air yesterday. And I still think I would throw them out of the ownership circle. But commissioners are not allowed to be emotional. They have to act swiftly without emotion. And I can tell you, of having done this job for 30 years, to act without emotion in the moment is almost impossible for me. Five days later, nine days later, 12 days later. But Adam Silver had to make a decision quickly. Why? Because it's in the middle of the finals. If this was Tuesday, Denver, January, he could take two weeks on it. The finals are down 18%. The last thing he's going to do is let this puppy drag out for nine days, steal every headline, and ding the championship. Good God, you don't want to drag it out so it not only dings the championship, but it dings your free agency. The two biggest things in the NBA, and I think they're both way bigger than the regular season, the finals and July free agency. If you throw this owner out, you have just for the next month, Half the headlines are Mark Stevens fighting a lawsuit, litigation against the league. This is outrageous. So I'm not, I'm not defending Adam Silver, nor did I ever feel like I needed to defend Roger Goodell. I'm just telling you, punishment is hard. And the explosion of social media has made it exponentially harder. I think Adam wanted this story over. It is the second biggest fine ever, I'm told. Um, but it's hard. These are, these are really hard. You'd think the commissioner, 
oh, he has to broker a deal with the Chinese television network. That stuff's easy because people are lining up to buy the NBA. If the NBA today opened up all their television rights, we'd bid on it, and the teams that Turner would bid on it, and overseas companies would bid on it. There's 33 sports networks. They'd all bid on it. That's the easy stuff. But a star does something wrong. A fan screams. Look at all the difficulty in the last two months. Westbrook fan. Kyle Lowry, owner, look at all. This is hard. Easy for me. I just have an opinion and it goes away. So this morning, uh, Adam Silver made a decision. Many people are not satisfied. And you and I can argue about this forever. Uh, but I thought I'd add perspective today. I went home and watched my take on it. And I don't, I don't think I was wrong, but I think I was emotional. And I thought, <laughs> commissioners, they're not allowed to be emotional. I mean, ever notice the, the, the per- commissioners always have the same personality? You ever notice that? Like, hockey guy is baseball guy, is Roger Goodell, is Adam Silver. And Silver's actually, by commissioner standards, he's carrot top. He's Chris Rock. He's hysterical. Most are dry. Most are unemotional. Many come from accounting. Many come from dry economic backgrounds to make harsh, intense decisions without emotion. In fact, one of my knocks on David Stern, he was often too emotional. He could scream and yell, and, and I don't think that's great for a commissioner. Uh, but what Adam Silver did now, Kyle Lowry, by the way, is not satisfied uh, on the one year ban and the heavy fine, heavy for me, maybe not for a billionaire. Now, that's where I agree. I do believe it's a very, very, it's not about letting any billionaire in, it's the world's biggest country club. And country clubs, regardless of your income, do not have to let you in. And I think being an NBA owner or part owner or an NFL owner or a baseball owner or a hockey owner or owning Liverpool, there is a responsibility beyond, (laughs) I got a bunch of money. Do you handle yourself with dignity? Uh, Are you in it for the right reasons? Do you understand the culture of your league? And I think this was a terrible look for the Warriors. Steve Kerr, it should be noted, immediately came out and apologized for the organization and defended the player, the opposing player, which said volumes to me is that it didn't play well in the Warriors locker room. It didn't play well anywhere in the Warriors organization because Steve Kerr came out within a New York minute and had a strong opinion against one of his slash owner investor, I'd say owner more than investor. So and now for the record, if Stevens is forced to sell and any anybody out there seeking vengeance, he's going to make five times his money. So don't, don't ever get caught up in he's a rich guy. I want to punish him. Rich guys figure out ways to make money. Um, I, I think the punishment here is this gentleman doesn't understand how prestigious, coveted, and important the ownership circle is. It's not just about your money. It's about your decency. It's about your understanding of the sports culture. It's about being a good citizen, and I think here Mark Stevens failed. Not saying he's a bad human. There, he was a jerk. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.